In this video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly what I think and why I do what I do in a live game of Weekend League in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become a better Madden player. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button. It's completely free to hit that subscribe button, and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release new videos. We upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better offensive and defensive player in Madden 21. And if you want to get the exact offense and the exact defense that I'm going to be running in this game, I just want to let you know that you can get both my offense and my defensive guide in the description of this video. Now, like I said, uh, I'm going to be running the 335 wide defense. Um, again, if you want to get the entire defensive guide, you can get that in the description. But we're going to be focusing in on some match coverage in this gameplay. Um, that's kind of the starting point, uh, and we teach you how to do all of this in the guide. We teach you how to, you know, basically run man, uh, man coverage, match coverage, zone drops, all of those different things, all those different elements. And so, if you want to learn how to do that, like I said, you can get, um, you can get the the uh, guide in the description. Now, uh, since I haven't been playing weekend league a lot lately, um, I'm actually a little bit slow on my adjustments. So, uh, just take it easy on me. Uh, we will get everything all set up here. And I'm trying to remember where I have, like, what abilities I have on everybody. So, uh, anyways. But starting out, looks like my opponent is going to uh, run some gun bunch. So I'm going to run some cover four quarters. Um, now, I'm actually trying out some different abilities. I have deep in zone, uh, deep in uh, zone KO on my two safeties. And then I have deep out zone KO on uh, my other players. So uh, that's just kind of how I'm rocking today in this in this gameplay. Here he's going to throw it right to me and I just can't get the interception. That's kind of the whole purpose of having a DK Metcalf, um, somebody that can jump up like that. Now, I'm trying to remember, I know Darius Slay has deep out zone KO, so I'm going to put him on the outside and then I'm going to rock with uh, Charles Woodson in the slot. Just like that. All right. And then we're going to be rocking and rolling. So, uh, okay. So I sh should have everything set up. We'll see if he runs the ball here. A lot of people like to run the ball out of this formation, a little base or something like that. So we got to watch out for that. Um, little crossing routes. This is a really good little formation for crossing routes. I have the new golden ticket Montez Sweat. Just got him. Um, he's not that expensive. But the thing that I like about him is he's really, really, really fast. And so he kind of serves a great purpose in this. He's going to be kind of our spy guy. He's the guy that we're going to go to um, whenever we need to spy somebody. Uh, right here, a little PA boot over. I'm going to try to get out there on that. I'm going to click off, actually. And he is going to dot me up over the top. Good read by him. And I think that was pretty poor defense. I don't know what I did wrong on that. Normally, that match coverage will do a little bit better of a job on that crossing route than it did right there. Uh, right here, uh, you got to think he's going to run the ball. So I'm going to go to my run defense. Yep, he does. And I miss a tackle. And this is... This is one of the things about Mutt. So he's going to be able to go in for a touchdown. One of the things about Mutt that I think is super, super important to hit on really quickly before we go any farther in the video is you can um, you cannot make as many mistakes in Mutt. It's it's not as forgiving, in my opinion, as Regs is. Uh, Regs is a little bit more forgiving. Uh, for example, like, you know, he might have gotten like a five-yard game, but he, would have gotten the, he wouldn't have gotten a touchdown in Mutt because all the players are so highly rated. Um, if you do something, you, you know, you throw, make a bad read, it's probably going to be an interception. If you, um, you know, if you, if you try to scramble out of the pocket with your quarterback, you're probably going to fumble. You know, so though, if you miss a tackle in the open field, you're probably going to be giving up a touchdown. And so there's a, in my opinion, it's not that there's a bigger skill gap, even though I think that there actually is. But it's a more smoother game, and it's a more con uh, consequential game, meaning that you know you really have to be on top of things when you're playing, especially in weekend league. So, uh, anyways, uh, all that to say, I missed the tackle and ended up paying the price. So now on offense, we're running the Jets uh, playbook in this video. I need to switch to the run heavy playbook. I've actually been meaning to do that. Um, I've been kind of simply running bunch tight end now in my ebook on this uh offensive guide here um it actually breaks down the bunch tight end it also breaks down the uh trips tight end offset and it breaks down the gun bunch so if you want to get access to all of those videos uh and all of that material that's going to be available in the description but right now i'm actually just enjoying just kind of trying to stay in gun bunch tight end as much as possible you know and ran very simple um you know, in some situations, I will go down into that. 
but for the most part, you'll see me run a lot of bunch tight end. Hopefully, in this gameplay, if I'm running, if I'm if I'm having a good game, I'm going to be in bunch tight end most of the game. So. Uh, anyway, right off the rip here, uh, we're going to roll out, try to hit that nice little route to Brandon Ayuk. And I'm using this new Robert Griffin III, uh, I believe he's a golden ticket. Now you noticed um, that he ran cover three. I've been finding out that a lot of people that play Mutt, um, I, mean, I mean a lot of people that play Mutt, they like to sit in cover three if, they, if at all possible. And so uh, I'm just going to start here with this, uh, trying to get him out of that cover three. Uh, right here, Randy Moss made a crazy catch, but they're not going to let him get his feet down. And it does look like he is going to go ahead and deep half that side, which is which is probably what he needs to do in all reality. So we're going to slip on over here into the tight end corner play. Um, I love this play. This is kind of my counter play. Now, he kind of seems like he knows kind of what he's doing. So, um, you know, he's going to be able to get out there and make a play. Good read by me there. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a great rack animation. But I think it's going to be one of those things where PA bootover is going to be the way to go against this guy, just based on how he's kind of calling his plays. Uh, so we're going to try to get out here on PA bootover and hit that triangle receiver. And that's really frustrating. I don't know what he's doing. He's got to be dropping those zones back. Like, he's got to be dropping those at 30 yards, you got to think. So in this situation, I don't know if he's just Mabel coveraging and dropping back, but that's just something that we've got to be, you know, kind of mindful of. So what we're going to do right here. Um, this is kind of my short yardage play that I like to go to. This is inside switch. Um, this is a nice little play here for short yardage. Um, I'm trying to hit that square receiver, and that's Andre Johnson. He should never be on the field, so I don't know why he's on the field. I don't know if we did something wrong over here, but that should be Hayward Bay. If, if anyone's ever substituted in, it should never be Andre Johnson, so I don't know why he's on the field. But anyways... Um, back to uh, the offense. So, you know, based on kind of the way that he's kind of started with his play calling, um, it really does mean that I need to, sim you know, I need to simply adjust and go to this. He's kind of starting. Um, he's kind of starting trying to defend that. So I can easily hit this mesh play. I can hit some of the other plays and bunch tight end just based on the way that he's playing defense, right? Um, based on the way that this guy right here is playing defense, he's going to probably... Um, and again, you know, we're going to see how it goes throughout this, this gameplay, but more than likely he is going to leave a lot of openings on, you know, with these corner routes and things like that. If he's running a lot of cover three, like I think he is, um, this is where I'm going to want to attack. I'm going to want to attack these little sideline, little quick out type things, uh, little short corner routes. That's really the move against someone like this. Now, again, you have to kind of monitor, you know, where is his deep safety? Right, so like in this example right here, this is a great opportunity for me to run mesh. Now, as you can see here, you know I've kind of got, I've kind of got to be careful because obviously the user, you know, you know I've got to kind of watch that a little bit too. Um, but inside switch, this is a play I really like in this situation. Um, inside switch or some of the other stuff here. So we're gonna watch his user here. Uh, we're gonna actually try to hit that back corner of the end zone dot. And we're able to hit it, but I, I, I have to say, like, I, I've been using RG3 for probably two or three games now. I really don't like his release. I really don't. Um, I feel like Brett Favre would have been able to make that a touchdown, and, and because I'm using RG3, you know, that, that is what it is. But let's see if I can hit this right here. A little rocket catch. Almost threw a pick. Not what I wanted to do. And so now we're in a kind of a rough spot, third and 10, ball in the 12 yard line. And this is where, you know, I come back to say, you know, I feel like we're going to try to threaten the seams here a little bit. Um, and then we're going to use a little quick out. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that right there. Just to try to kind of hold his user. Um, and another inaccurate ball from Robert Griffin the third. That's three consecutive bad throws inside the 15 yard line. Not what we wanted at all. And those are the kind of things that make you want to move on from a quarterback. So we're going to have to settle for three and, uh, and, and try to play some defense. Now, one of the things that is really, really important, I've, ta I've talked about this a lot on Inside the Mind Gameplays and kind of shared this with you guys. You want to make sure that you are kicking the ball if you can at all possible. Meaning that in the beginning of the game, you want to have, make sure that in your settings, your first choice to for the coin toss is always set to, to kick it off. You, all, you never want the ball first, ever. It's never a good idea. And the main reason why is what you're seeing right here. Um, you know, he's got a one, uh, a one touchdown advantage on me. 
but the one thing that I've got going for me is, you know, we haven't really, you know, I mean, we're still in the first half. I get ball in the second half. I felt like the defense didn't play bad, um, and, and so we just kind of need a little bit more time to, to feel it out and see it, and that's what kicking the ball allows you. It allows you always an opportunity um, to be able to be in a position where you can come back, so that's one of the biggest things as to why I, um, uh, and right here, of course, my adjustments are a little bit sh a little bit slow, but that's why I do that. Dang it, I messed up my adjustments. I'm gonna go get in here. Let's see if he throws it. See, and I don't think that should be complete. Like, I, I just don't think that should have been a completion. Like, I really don't feel like that was a great read. So, but it is what it is. You like threw like a drag at the very last possible second, rolling out. Like, I'm gonna try to go get him here and just get a quick sack. That's actually a huge sack. So defense did its job. Let's see if we get a no huddle or if we get a punt. Um, the defense did its job right there. Um, but he is going to go for it. Okay, so this is an interesting decision by him. I kind of actually, honestly, kind of agree with what he's doing. Um, so I've got to watch a little bit here. Um, got to be, got to be watching. I'm bailing, bailing, bailing. Just swat it. Just please get. Thank you. Okay, good job. Okay, so the reason I agree with his decision is if you look at the clock, there's two minutes and 21 seconds left in the first half. Um, and the reason I really like the decision that he made there, like in, in terms of like really respect his, his Madden insight to that, um, is, be, is indeed because, you know, now he's in a pretty good little spot. And the reason why is because I don't have a ton, like I don't have a ton of space to take up a ton of time. Um, and so as a result of that, you know, he's going to be in a pretty decent spot. Let's see if I can get out of the pocket here. And RG3 makes a nice money throw to George Kittle. We're able to go no huddle. Part of this thing with RG3 is I'm still learning how to use him. You do have to at least, at least admit, you know, you're still learning how to use a player. You can't necessarily, it doesn't always make sense uh, to just judge, you know, yeah, oh, this guy can't throw. Well, you know, it, it, there is a lot of truth in the fact that, like, I just started using him as a quarterback. So I have to kind of respect the process a little bit, learn how to use him. Um, I've been using Brett Favre, you know, pretty much since the Favre came out back in the fall. Um, he's kind of been my go-to guy. So anyways, that's just kind of something you got to be mindful of. All right, so right here, we're going to try to flip on him and just get a quick snap. We're just trying to air truck in Marcel Reese. Okay, we're going to go to huddle. I actually like the defense that he's in um, here. And we're actually going to try to flip on him here just quick. Um, I probably should go back to the other. You notice here that when I auto a goal line, Reese goes down into the fullback position. Look at the clock, though. You see right here I'm wanting to take as much clock as I possibly can because if I have to take a field goal or even if I get a touchdown, we just want to try to limit the opportunity that we're going to give to our opponents. We're going to take all the clock we possibly can, try to air truck in there with Derrick Henry. Uh, so, so that was decent right there. Um, and now what we're going to do – is I think we're just going to come out and goal line just based on the situation. Um, and I'd like to come out in a passing play here, uh, but I'm probably not going to pass. I'm probably going to run. But you see here he called timeout. So see now he comes out and goal line, I come out and goal line, that kind of thing. Um, but like, right, I don't really think he's in a good position here. He might be. Um, I'm trying to think of like how to flip this. And honestly, you know what? We're just going to go to power row. Let's see if we can get this audible off. Just going to go right into power. Oh, Derrick Henry. And we got in for six. That's a big touchdown. That's a big touchdown right there um, because it makes it gives us a one-possession lead as opposed to being down a possession. All right? It gives us a one-possession lead as opposed to being a down a possession, which means that we can come out in the second half. If we can get a stop here, we can come out in the second half and be able to go up by two possessions. That's a big deal in Madden, especially in Ultimate Team. In Ultimate Team, uh, the games are a little bit shorter um, and, you know, they're a little, again, we talked about it earlier. The margin for error in Mutt is a lot lower, in my opinion. It's harder to get back in the game. Um, the defense plays really good. Like, I really like the way defense plays in Mutt right now. I feel like it's really in a good spot. And that's typically how it goes. Like, um, as the players get better, um, of course, I can't get the adjustment off. Gosh dang it. Almost got it. I'm having some trouble getting my adjustments off here. I'm trying to get, I'm trying, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying, let me make sure I have the right guy in here. Charles Woodson's in here. Okay. And he has Acrobat. That's what he has. Okay. 
Oh gosh, I got quick snap, I got quick snap, I got quick snap. I was hoping he would try to force it. I should have left the... Man, I just got quick snap so bad. I'm going to send some heat here. He didn't handle pressure too well the first time. So I'm just going to try to, yep, yep. See, see, he's not handling pressure good. Not everybody does. Um, I personally, I'm, I'm, a, I'm the kind of player that I would rather you sit in coverage um, and try to, you know, and, and, and dot you up. I'd rather do that. If you blitz at me, um, it does definitely mess with my, like, my timing, my internal clock, all of those things. Um, here I got a spot on the field. Gotta get back over there, make a tackle. And that's not bad. Like now he's gotta take a timeout or he's gotta go uh, quick. But we're gonna be able to take some time here as he's resetting. I got my adjustments off. If I can blitz my user. I gotta watch that quick throw there. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. That's one of those things that's super frustrating. Now he called a timeout right there. So this is where, you know, a little bit of game management. He is gonna go for a field goal, which I feel like that's a bad decision by him. He's gonna give me 14 seconds. He's gonna go for a field goal. He's probably gonna be able to get this, I, I would assume. Um, and he does make it, okay. So now I've got 10 seconds, which realistically means I've got like maybe two plays, probably one. So I need one play to get down and, and score. So I've gotta be thinking about that. Really, to me, it's either a crossing route or something like that. We'll see what we come up with. We're going to take this up to 20, mainly due to the to conserve the as much clock as possible. Now, I do have two timeouts, so depending on the look that he gives me, I might actually run the ball just so that I can get to a hash mark. Um, and you know what? I am just going to... We're going to try this. I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to try it. We're just flipping on him really quickly here, just trying to force him for something. I think he's in cover three. So we're just trying to get something here. And I got an absolute laser on the sideline. Timeout, 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 timeout. Now I'm at the 38. I don't think I can make the kick, but I'm going to try to make it just in case I, I do. Um, I'm telling you what, like you have no idea how poorly RG3 throws compared to Brett Favre, at least so far for me. Like it takes so long for the ball to get there. And of course I'm going to end up missing it. It's just be, this is where I talk about, you know, like, when you go into a mutt game, especially like if this was a tournament game, you make sure that you have the best kicker. This is the second time um, in, in this series of Weekend League that not having the best kicker in the game has come back to bite me. If I had the 99 overall Janikowski, he would have made that, no problem. I think I have like a 96 overall, and you see, I mean, he just can't make a kick. So um, that is what it is. So it's just one of those things. I really think that what happens is as the better players come out, I actually do think that they – Madden on per not on purpose, but I do or well I guess on purpose, but I do think that they you know make it so that the players before don't play as good. That's just my personal opinion. Um, but anyways, you saw right there we had a nice little dot. So the way that he's playing, I just don't really like. I really I don't know what exact zone adjustment he's doing. I feel like he's got to be putting like an outside quarter over there or something because they're playing that way too well. And that's more of what we're trying to hit. Let's get our feet down. And that's another frustrating thing. Another frustrating element of Madden 21 right now is the fact that it is really, 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 really hard um, to consistently catch the ball for whatever reason. I don't know why they think that's a good idea. But anyways, uh, right here, I'm just going to use a little simple hitch route. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to fade him. I'm just going to try to create some space. I, I want to hit the tight end. Um, little jam. I don't know what just happened on the left side of the field. That's ridiculous. I have a 99 overall player, and I just got pressed into my face. I don't know why uh, that happened at all. That is not something that should have happened at all. Okay, so he's. you've got to think cover three. I don't know what he's doing with his user here. He's bringing this guy over here. But we're going to run boot over. We're going to stick with what got us here and just take our delay fade, get down. So we're in a 10 to 10 ball game. I don't really feel like, you know, we should be in a 10 to 10 ball game, but it is what it is. So uh, anyway, a little, little stop and go, a little, little air truck right there from Henry. And I feel like we're playing fine. I just feel like we're missing like some little things that could put us over the top. Uh, I need to get the delay fade out there. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
dot. That's an absolute dime right there from Griffin. Okay, so when you want to change it up, um, like I'm in a situation right here where I want to change it up, right? So um, you have to be kind of intentional about how you do that, how you go about doing that. You gotta watch where this user going. Uh, and right there, that's a bad play by me. I, his zone drops have got to be on 30. I, I just have to think his zone drops are on 30. So I've got to be kind of a little bit more aware of that. Um, I'm going to go to this other setup out of mesh. It's mainly just because we're in a position right here where we don't like have um, great, like the players on the field. We don't, you know, for whatever reason, everyone's tired. So we're just going to check it down to the running back. And that wasn't a great decision either. And we're just looking sloppy right now offensively. Like this is not how you want to start a third quarter drive. We're just looking really sloppy. We've got bad players in the game. Again, I think it might, and I just this is just my opinion. Um, I've been shocked at just how bad the stamina really is. Like the stamina is such a major issue in Mutt right now, and it really does need to be fixed. But anyways, um, he's gonna go man to man. And Andre Johnson is gonna roast Taylor Mays. Andre Johnson is like the base Andre Johnson, so I guess it's karma, I don't know. But we're able to get him for six. That was a struggle bus drive. Um, just not what we wanted really at all. But we're somehow able to come away with seven points, and sometimes that happens. Now what we've got to do is shift our focus to defense. I feel like our defense has been fine. It's really the broken plays that have killed us, letting them get out of the pocket. And that's why I'm becoming a lot more intentional when I run my defense now. Um, in Mutt, it's a lot different than regs. In regs, uh, because there's unless you're playing like Lamar Jackson, right? Unless you're playing like the Ravens, you don't have to worry as much about a scramble drill. Uh, in Mutt, you have to worry about that. That is like a major, major thing. So here you see, I'm going to be a little bit more passive. I was, I'm going to be a little bit more passive in my run defense approach. The main reason for that is because I want to force my opponent to have to throw, or not, 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 not have to throw, but I want to. I know my opponent is going to be pressing a little bit. And so I just want to be intentional about trying to take away the main thing. And the main thing to me is this rollout, these broken plays. Okay, and that's a good read. That's a good read right there. I messed up on an adjustment. He got me. So good read by my opponent. So that's like a mental, okay, he's going to run a drag. So now I've got to, you know, change that up. I'm actually going to probably go to a little bit of man coverage, not in this example here. Uh, let's see if he goes inside zone. It wouldn't be a bad idea. He's not going to there. There's the rollout again. And okay, we got him to throw it away. So you see, when we put the spy on the field, as soon as he rolls out, it's these broken plays. Then we take that away because the spy is able to get out there on him, right? Um, okay, uh, we're gonna get probably dotted here, but we'll see how this plays out. We'll see what he does here. He's got three by one to the right, which I don't really like that. We're on the wide side of the field. And that's not bad, that's not bad. That's the adjustment. So last time he was in compression, he was uh, running a he was running a drag route, and so we were able to in that situation be able to stop him. All right, right here I feel okay about this D here. We're gonna be able to take that away. Gonna kind of climb up. That's got to be an interception. That right there has got to be an interception. And really quickly, the reason why it's not an interception is because I forgot to put this on play ball. More than likely, that's the reason. I uh, didn't get my coaching adjustment set up because I'm still kind of slow on getting my team set up. I felt like that was great defense, exactly what we want. We've kind of found it a little bit here. Um, now, right here, um, this is a little bit risky, but we are going to send the goons at him. We're just going to try to force the issue a little bit. Um, might not be a great call, but he hasn't handled pressure very well. Um, I'm hitting triangle. I'm hitting. I, I, I don't know what else to do. He throws right at my user who is six foot three, and I'm hitting triangle as he does it. And somehow, miraculously, he completes the pass. So these are the ways that I get beaten mad. <laughs> oh, man. That was bad run defense by me, but we actually got saved by the bell kind of thing. Got, got a little shed tackle. And, then, I mean, I feel good about the defense right here. I feel like we're really close to making that turnover. We just need to make the turnover. Um, so right here, we're going to go to – we're going to send some heat here. He has not handled heat well. Uh, got Dion out there. Good job. So that's where we need to be. And I'm actually going to change, I think, well, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep where I'm at. Okay. So we're going to go into four. Put your fours up in the chat. 
Again, if you want to get the defense or the offense that I'm running in this game, you can get that in the description. I haven't had to shift out of my base defense yet. I'm really excited he's going to trips tight end. Um, I love playing this this def or this or offense. I actually feel decent against it, but we'll see how we do. So there we go, a little broken play, and we got him. We got everything taken away. He's going to have to throw it away. Now, if I was him, I would actually think it would be a smart decision to take a field goal here, but we'll see what he does. Um be probably better for us if he goes for it but he is going to take a field goal and we're just going to come out in kind of a general thing so we do get the stop um as a defense we've held up to two field goals now one of those was an end of half kind of thing you know we got to remember that you know we missed a field goal so really it should be 2013 if we have a better kicker but it is what it is um this is a big drive this is the this is kind of the game the game drive right here if he's able to get a stop um, we're forced to turn over or something. It's going to shift massively. I'm going to have a lot of pressure on me. So, you know, we've just got to be really, really sharp. Offensively, we've got to not make mistakes. That's the biggest thing. Now, what we've been watching as far as how he's been defending is we've been given a lot of opportunities on this PA boot over. But, unfortunately, what's been happening is, for whatever reason, he's been able to, um, his cover three corner has been able to really jump stuff. Maybe because he has deep out KO. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, um, we're going to test it. And Robert Griffin III once again screws me up. I probably will sell him after this game. I have, I have yet to see why he is valuable other than to save a couple of cap because that is, that is a terrible throw. Obviously, I was getting hit, but he, it's because of his slow re release, he's not able to get the ball out, and it's just driving me insane. Because this crossing route's been wide open. That's exactly where I wanted to hit. This time, we luckily got our feet down. Now, this is where you have to um, – I think you have to game plan a little bit. So, we're going to take a second just kind of, like, let people reset. Um, there's a little bit of game planning here. So, if I – I'm going to go ahead and run inside zone. The reason why is because if I were to just, like, you know, keep rolling, right – uh, I don't think that would be a great decision, right? So here, just kind of like, okay, we're just going to fall into you, whatever. Um, but we're going to go get down. And now we're just going to kind of make sure, like, our running game here is set up. We've got our bunch tight ends. We've got some option in case he gives us a good look. I think he's running big nickel. Um, and it's actually his big nickel defense is actually doing a pretty good job. So, you know, we're going to kind of keep with the air here. But we're in a decent spot right here. And there's a little laser. That's an absolute laser. So that's one of the secrets of that play is how good that route is. Now, I can't tell if he's got a line, if he's dropping his defense alignment in that zone or like what he's doing. But we're going to stay with boot over. Now, we do know that we are starting to creep into this area of the field where it's a lot harder for the, the uh, boot over to be, I think, effective. Um, it's still effective, but as you know, some of the routes are going to get a little bit more compressed, it's harder to get stuff open. So like right here, we're just gonna throw that away. We're not gonna force anything. And that's a bad throw away, honestly, but you know, we don't wanna get a fumble. We don't wanna try to force something. So we're just gonna, you know, kind of, okay, it is what it is, good defense by him. Let's reset um, and let's figure this out. I'm gonna go to this setup here. This is one of my favorite setups out of tight end corner. Um, it's really good against match defense. It's also really good against um, really anything. So we'll see how this goes. And we're just gonna take our check down here. We're going to do a little air truck, just try to get a couple extra yards, because really we're only going for, I mean, like, we're not mad if we get a field goal here. Like, we're going to take this down to the two-minute warning. He's got three timeouts. We are going to throw the ball. We're going to probably put the ball in the air here on this third down, but we're going to be strategic about this. We don't want to be throwing any interceptions. We don't want to be putting ourselves in a bad position. But remember I had talked about earlier on in the game, I said the route that we want to be able to hit consistently is going to be this um, this corner route right here, like the corner route to the left, the corner route to the right, based off the way he's playing. So right here we're going to see if that's true. And he does go to man coverage, and I need Robert. See, and that's that's frustrating. Like, why is the refrigerator parry? Robert Griffin has 95 speed, yet the refrigerator parry somehow magically is able to get in as he steps up into the pocket, and I should have been able to get out of there. But I guess maybe that's the price you pay for not having an escape artist 
but very, very frustrating, not quite, st still not quite seeing the purpose behind switching to Robert Griffin and more than likely will probably end up switching back to Favre um, because for my play style, right? For my play style, I don't need a scrambler to scramble. I just need him to make throws and I'm just not really liking what I'm seeing from RG3. I do like the fact that he does help save some cap, um, but Ah, man, like he has missed he has missed a couple of like easy throws like Favre would have made those throws and, that, and I can definitely um, You know explain that to you uh, if you're on our stream and you have questions and things like that But anyways uh, right here. He's going back to his tight doubles. We've got our defense set up here um, We're really trying to watch this trying this guy this like slot here. We're gonna try to jump down on that He's out of the pocket broken play and he's gonna have to be forced to throw away. You see the defense is playing perfect um I'm not, it's really just been, um, from what I've seen so far, there's been a couple of, of busted coverages, but it's primarily just been these little broken plays here and there. Um, so we're, we're feeling good. And I didn't get my setup in. I got to watch out for those drags. Quick route there to Jimmy Graham on the right side. Good read by my opponent. Um, but we're an okay situation. Again, we just can't get burned. And if we do get burned, it's not that bad, actually. Um, because, you know, we're going to get the ball back and get another opportunity. So right here, we just got to really watch. There's a corner route from this formation that can do some damage to our defense the way we have it constructed here. We've got to get on the drag. Going to go on the drag. Oh, great playmaker. Oh, man, that's huge. Oh, man, I don't feel like that was that great. I felt like that was bad on my part. Dang it. That's a huge, huge playmaker. All right, right here, we're sending the goons. And we're trying to strip sack him. We're not able to get him on the ground. He's able to he's able to throw that away. That is absolutely ridiculous. Madden 21 has completely screwed us in this game, and we've got to fight through it here. Ball in the 14, 13 to 20 ball game. Absolutely crazy to me why that happens. I do not get it. Uh, right here, we're gonna kind of bluff some pressure. We're gonna watch out for some slants. Uh, we got to watch out for anything over the middle. We're going to shade outside and underneath. We're really trying to bring some pressure here, but we've got to be careful that we don't give up like a quick post or a quick slant or something. We really got to watch out for that. There, throws it right into my guy's hand once again, and he does not intercept it. That's going to bring up a third down and seven. One minute, 15 seconds to go. I'm not going to call a timeout right here because if he does get a first down, you've got to really watch that. Um, but right here, we got the spot on the field for the broken play situation. We're going to bring them down. And remember, last time we were in this situation. So we're going to throw a vertical hook on the field just to kind of help us a little bit with these yellows. Right here, over the middle, big situation. Throws an absolute, and we got lucky. Maybe Madden brought us back a little bit. Somehow he didn't catch that. I think he had to aggressively catch that to even have a chance to catch that. And he was ended up to be out of bounds. So that's going to bring up a fourth and seven. This is your ball game. It's a big situation. And how we're going to approach this is we're just going to blitz the freaking daylights out of him. We're literally blitzing everybody on this play. We're really bringing the heat. We've got to watch out. Quick read, probably from that left side slot. We're really bringing everybody. Let's see what we can do here. And I got him. Good defense by me. We're able to close this one out. DK Metcalf and uh, good defense. So good defense, good game by my opponent. A lot of fun. Didn't like the fact that we dropped way too many interceptions, and RG3 basically might as well have been the head coach out there not being able to make throws. But if you want to get the exact offense and the exact defense I used to win this ballgame, you can get that in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.